the uh, sheet that allows you to write down your pro progress. Okay, so I've got a blank one here. I have hundreds of these over the years that I've been doing it. They kind of look nice, so I keep them. <laughs> and um, you write on the top of your sheet the date. So we're on the 21st, 21 July. And the batch size is one square meter, because that's the amount of gesso we've made. And then your start time is 10.05. So 10.05 on the sheet there. Get your first bike on board. Take the lid off the, now the lid is really important. The lid goes off and on all the time. So take the lid off. Which, which board should we start with? It doesn't matter, any. Um, if, if you want an easier board, start with a plywood one. Dip the brush in and don't wipe the brush on the side. So you can see I'm using the piece of plywood with the hole in and um, you're just using the um, crock pot or the pan but don't wipe your brush on the side because it'll go all lumpy. So just dip it in, take it out, put it onto the board and then brush the board like I'm doing here. Thank you. Now on this, um, at this stage it's going to dry really quickly the gesso so it's important to rub it with your fingers. You don't have to rub it quite as hard as you did yesterday uh, with the priming uh, because you should have got most of the air out but if you notice that there's a few pinholes in your linen as you start the board either put a, a pencil mark around them so you can see where they are so for example like that so you can see where are we now? and then put your coat of gesso on and the pencil mark shows through the gesso and that tells you where you need to rub your pinholes out rub with a flat hand so again you're getting gesso on all your on the palm and your thumb and your fingers Dip the brush, don't wipe it. Plenty of gesso on, work quickly. You've got to get around all these boards and onto the first one again before it goes bone white. So um, so if you try and remember that shiny, if the board is shiny, you stop and wait. If the board is grey, it's good to go on. And if the board is bone white, it's beyond, it's gone beyond. So you're looking at the colours on your board and um, the shine on the board. There's a hair there. Can you there. describe what white is? Is that like an off-white or...? Yeah, the, the, white, the, the bone white or the, or the grey. The grey is a dull, damp looking colour. And um, I don't know if I can show you because the cameras aren't that good. but. I've, I've, I'm rubbing this one out. Should we be doing this now? No, or wait till I've finished and then do, do it after I've finished. Right, okay. So this first one that I did, is this camera working? <laughs> 